Here I am in the old city of Jerusalem with Elia. But Elia, I want you to introduce yourself. My voice is a little raspy. Tell a little bit about yourself and the history of this wonderful store. Please. Yeah, sure. And we match. Yeah. <laughs> what are that? Um, well, my name is Elia. I was named after my grandfather. Here you see the picture. Wow. Uh, we are three generations of photographers dedicated to document everything around. Right. Uh, we're the oldest still going photographers in Israel. Okay. We have a collection of 3,500 pictures. 3,500? Uh, yes, dating back to from 1860 till today. Right. What you see here actually is history through uh, pictures. Yes, it really is. My grandfather came here as an orphan. He was oh. one of the survivors of the Armenian genocide. Really? All in 1915. All his family members were killed in front of his eyes when he was about four and a half, five years old. We don't know the age. He was left on a death march, sold as a slave, went to hell literally. Unbelievable. Until the Americans came and saved him. This is very well documented, the American Near East Relief Foundation. They gathered 100,000 Armenian orphans from the region of Ufa and Norway. Right. Right. And brought him to the Middle East, Syria, Lebanon, and here to orphanages. Right. He was brought to Nazareth. Oh. And then in the orphanage, one of his teachers was a photographer. And that's how he learned photography. Exactly. He was chosen to, he was a very tough kid. He could carry a lot of plates. Yes. Where, where, back then, the negatives were big glass plates right. by 10 inch. Five, six of these, you needed a very strong kid to yes. carry. He was the one. For him, this was magic. Uh, started asking questions, and sometimes he got answers. <laughs> now, this goes on until age 16. Yes. Plus or minus. Yes. Uh, this is when the orphanage decides he's a man. Oh. They let him go. He comes to Jerusalem and starts right. working in a photography shop called yeah. Anania Brothers. All right. Eventually he buys the place and becomes Elia Photo Service. How about that? And there you go. That's what's on the outside still. Okay. Approved military photographer number and seven. In 1917. No, Hanania Brothers was established in 1970. Right. Uh, he took over in the 30s. Okay. Um, so. Uh, your box two digits for number four digits and the address near Barclays Bank. <laughs> <laughs> so, business of very you good. You understand that? That's funny. Near Barclays Bank. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, business was really good, but right? we were facing a war in 1948. Two days before the war, a British officer, one of his close friends, came right? and warned him, You need to take your stuff out. There's going to be Really? Trouble. He even brought two big military trucks to help him transport everything to our. Because he knew how precious these things were. Yes. Apparently. So yeah. two days after they were transported, everything burnt. Oh. And Can you imagine if that stuff would have yeah, been lost? Yeah, we're lucky to have this saved yes. two days before. And uh, the, not only the, the stores were burnt, they fell in the no man's land, on the, right on the border. Oh not, not Israel and not Jordan. Right. So what does he do? He opens the space. We are here since 1949 uh, as a regular photography right. shop. He negative stayed in the basement until 1987. Really? years. Eventually, my father decided to clear the basement and found oh, no. the treasure. Like a, a, a gold mine? Exactly. Oh so my goodness. Did, so they didn't know they were there that whole time? Exactly. So he asked my grandfather, he was living back then, right. what are all these? He said, all negatives I took when I was young, they're not important. Throw them away. No, he, no. We didn't throw them away. No, of course not. You're looking at them. We made a small And exhibition. I actually have this book. Huh? I got this book a couple of years ago, I think in 19, 2019. You had it back then, right? Right. Well, yeah. 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 So I bought this book. If you guys ever want a beautiful book, it shows probably these are the pictures that came out as negatives, right? Right. Some of them. Yeah. 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 I mean, they're beautiful. So after doing in a small exhibition at the American Colony Hotel, we became oh. famous. Uh, we were chosen one of the top 10 places you shouldn't miss in Jerusalem. Well, that's why I'm here. Time Off Magazine, <laughs> uh, National Geographic actually made a film about us. Yes. You can watch it on YouTube probably. Okay. It's called Jerusalem Within These Walls. Okay. It speaks about four quarters of Jerusalem. We represented the Armenian quarter. Beautiful. And you can see my grandfather telling his life story himself. Oh, really? Yeah, he passed away in the year 1999. Is, it, is your dad still alive? No, he passed away recently, 2018. Did oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Wow, so you're it. Well, yeah. Yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then your sons are learning the trade? Well, my son is 16, no pressure. 16 now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, so what is like their most sought after photo? What do you think, the Western you, Wall? Or, every, or everyone has a different... Uh, right. Um, we have a, a picture for every taste. Do you? Yes. Um, you would be amazed at what people choose as, uh, as really? pictures to put on their walls. But uh, yeah. Is this a picture of your mother? Or this is our uh, neighbor back in 1993. Oh, that, <laughs> that was your mother. Right? She's so beautiful. Wow, this is, so what do you see? My mother is over there. Oh, right there. Oh, she's even more pretty. So what do you think of the future of the store? You think 
Yeah. Well, I came from a high-tech background. Right. I chose to be here because this is important for me. This is something that needs to go on. Right, right. And uh, I do my utmost best to keep it going. So the technology's gotten better too. No, I'm, I'm going as, as much as uh, old school as possible. Good, good, because you want to keep authentic, yeah. right? Yeah. And so you send things from all, all over the world, yeah. right? I love that. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your time. I know you're a busy man. He's so busy. I do thank you. You're precious. Pleasure. Thank you again. Pleasure. And you need to come to this store when you come on my tour because everything in here is amazing and they look beautiful framed. Amazing. Thank you, Thanks, you guys.